This is a fairy tale from the Brothers Grimm, known as the Four Musicians. Once upon a time, a man had a donkey who for many years had carried bags of grain on his back to and from the mill. But at last, he grew so old that he was of no use for work. And his master tried to think how he could get rid of his old servant so that he might not have to feed him. The donkey found out what was in his master's mind, and fearing that he might be killed, he ran away. So he took the road to Bremen, where he had often heard the street band play sweet music, for he thought he could be a musician as well as they. He had not gone far when he came upon an old dog panting for breath, as if he had been running a long way. What are you panting for, my friend? asked the donkey. Ah, answered the dog, now that I am old and growing weaker and weaker every day, I can no longer go to the hunt, and my master has said that I must be killed, so I have run away, but how I am to find bread and meat I do not know. Well, said the donkey, come with me, I am going to be a street musician in Bremen. I think you and I could easily learn a living by music, I can play the flute and you can play the kettle drum. The dog was quite willing, so they both walked on. They had not gone far when they saw a cat sitting in the road with a face as long as three days of rainy weather. Now what is the matter with you, old Tom? asked the donkey. You also would be sad, said the cat, if you were in my place. For now that I am getting old and my teeth are gone, I cannot catch the mice and I like to lie behind the stove and purr. But when I found that they were going to drown me, I ran away as fast as I could. Alas, what am I to do now, I do not know. Come with us to Bremen, said the donkey. I know that you sing well at night, so you can easily make a street musician in the town. That is just what I would like to do, said the cat. So he joined the donkey and the dog, and they all walked on together. After some time, the three musicians came to a farmyard, and on the gate stood a cock, crying cock a doodle doo with all his bite. What are you making so much noise for? asked the donkey. Ah, said the cock, in spite of my giving them a fine day for Sunday, I find I must have my head cut off to make a dinner for Monday, and so I am crowing as hard as I can while my head is still on. Come with us, old red comb, said the donkey. We are going to Bremen to be street musicians. You have a fine voice, and the rest of us are all musical too. Ah, said the cock. That is just what I should like to do. And they all four went on to Bremen. Now they could not reach the town in one day, and as evening came on, they went into a wood to stop for the night. The donkey and the dog lay down under a large tree. The cat climbed up on one of the branches, while the cock flew up to the top of the tree where he felt quite safe. Before they went to sleep, the cock, who from the top of the tree could look all around, saw the light from a window, and calling to his friends, he told them that they were not far from a house. Then, said the donkey, we must all go on to this light, for it may be just the house for us and the old dog said he should like a little piece of meat or even a bone. So they were soon on their way again. As they drew near, the light grew larger and brighter, until they saw that it came from the window of a robber's house. The donkey, who was the tallest, went up and looked in. What do you see, old long ears? asked the cock. What do I see? answered the donkey. Why, a table spread with plenty to eat and drink, and the robbers sitting before it having their supper? We should be there too, if we had our rights, said the cock. Ah, yes, said the donkey, if we could only get inside. Then the four friends talked over what they had better do in order to drive the robbers away. At last they hit upon a plan. The donkey was to stand on his hind legs and place his front feet on the window sill. The dog could then stand on the donkey's back. The cat was to climb upon the dog, and the cock was to perch on the cat's head. As soon as this was done, the donkey gave a signal, and they all began to make their music at once. 
The donkey brayed and the dog barked. The cat mewed and the cock crowed, all with such force that the window panes shook and were almost broken. The robbers had never before heard such a noise and thought it must come from witches or giants or goblins. They all fled at once and ran as fast as they could to the wood behind the house. Then our four friends rushed in and took what the robbers had left on the table. They ate as if they had been hungry for a month. When the four musicians had eaten as much as they could, they put out the light, and each went to sleep in the spot which he liked best. The donkey lay down out in the yard, the dog lay behind the door, the cat went to sleep in front of the fireplace, while the cock flew up onto a high shelf. They were all so tired from their long walk that they soon fell fast asleep. When all was still and the light was put out, the robber chief sent one of his bravest men back to the house to see how things were going. The man found everything quiet and still, so he went into the kitchen to strike a light. Seeing the great fiery eyes of the cat, he thought they were live coals and held a match to them. But this made Puss angry and he flew up, spit at the man and scratched his face. It gave the robber so great a fight that he ran for the door, but the dog who lay there sprang up and bit him in the leg as he went by. In the yard, the rogue ran into the donkey, who gave him a great kick with his hind foot, while a cock on the shelf, waked up by the noise, was alive in a moment and cried, cock a doodle doo Then the man ran as fast as his legs could carry him back to the robber chief. When he had caught his breath, he said, In that house is a wicked witch, who flew at me and then scratched my face with her long nails. Then by the door stood a man with a knife who cut me in the leg. Out in the yard lay a great black giant who struck me a blow with his wooden leg. And up in the roof sat the judge who cried, What did he do? What did he do? When I heard this, I ran off as fast as I could. No money could ever have made the robbers go near that house again, but our four friends, the musicians, liked the place so well that they would not leave it, and so far as I know, they are there to this day. The End